Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are exactly at the halfway point in this ABCs of Ramadan series, and I'm really excited to bring you this quality because it really sums up the qualities that we've done so far. And because the Prophet said that whoever possesses this quality will have the highest abode, the most exclusive home in Jannah. So keep watching to find out what it is. It is none other than possessing good manners. And the best example is our Prophet As Allah reminds us in Surah Qalam, verse 4, Indeed you, O Muhammad, are at a great standard of character. So for anyone looking for a book on good manners, look to the life of the Prophet for he was a living, walking Qur'an. With regards to his family, he had the best manners. He would sometimes fix his own shoes because he didn't want to disturb his wives. And he would also help them bring food to the table. He said, the best amongst you are those who are the best to their family. And then he continued and said, And I am the best to my family. He had the best character with children. He used to greet children on the street with salam. And sometimes he would even play with them out of his kindness towards them. The Prophet ﷺ was also extremely forgiving and forbearing. He'd never get angry for his own sake, no matter how many times people exploited him for his kindness. He would only display his anger for Allah's sake. He was also extremely humble. You know how these rich kings and leaders of their nation love to adorn themselves and make themselves seem above their subjects? But our Prophet ﷺ was the complete opposite. When he sat in a gathering, he sat like any other man. If someone wanted to see who the leader was, he wouldn't be able to tell. He was the most smiling person and had a good sense of humor. Once, an old woman came to the Prophet ﷺ and asked, Am I going to Jannah? He replied, Old women don't go to Jannah. The woman was very upset, but then the Prophet ﷺ said, All old women will be young in Jannah. As we can see, even in making jokes, he would not lie. So an exercise that we can do to try to improve our manners is that for each week, let's try to implement one of these beautiful characteristics in our life. So try humility for a week, try forgiveness for a week, and you know how it goes. And remember, the Prophet ﷺ said, those who are closest to me on Judgment Day are those who are the best in character. So in other words, let's work on our good manners. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.